Rockstar instantly fixing money glitches. Hey, did you guys hear about, like, that, uh, money glitch in GTA Online with the new dealerships? You could buy the Turismo R at the Luxury Autos dealership, but the pricing on the Turismo R was wrong. It was, like, $26,000, which is obviously wrong. It's, like, five hundred or 600000 unless you're playing on, uh, Epic Games. It's free. But the point is, you could buy it for 26,000. Like you could just buy a bunch of them for 26,000 and you could sell them for like normal price. So if you would buy it for 500,000, you could sell it for 330,000. And since they fucked up the um, price, people were just constantly buying it for 26,000 and then selling it for 300,000. And they fixed it like within a few hours. Like they fixed it instantly, which was kind of weird to me. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a game breaking glitch, but like there are a lot of other game breaking glitches in the game. Oh, there's a money glitch? Oh shit, gotta patch that right away. Oh, there's a glitch that's making the game extremely unenjoyable for players? Eh, yeah, we'll, we'll fix that in a few years. It took them nine years to fix the snacks and armor menu, but it took them less than nine hours to fix a money glitch. It's kind of weird to me. Imagine if they treated modders like that. The game would be so much better. Rockstar locking half of the Criminal Enterprises DLC behind Drip Feed. Another thing with the update that is kind of controversial, they, they kind of like locked half of the update behind Drip Feed. And surprisingly, or at least what I, f uh, I find surprisingly, people don't like it. I don't know, I, I like having like every week where there's like a new update kind of thing, like a, a very small update. I don't know, I, I like it. For me, it's a nice change since it only gets updated like once or twice every one or two years. Locking behind everything behind drip feed, I liked it. Because then there'd be like something, something new every week. Something to hop on for. Of course, it's nothing like a DLC, like it's not a new story every week or something. Just a, a new vehicle or a new random event, but I, I still like it. Why I haven't released my contract DLC video. Speaking of updates, what, what did you guys think of the Franklin update last year? I didn't release my video on it because it, it was such a pain to edit. It was like six hours of footage. It's such a pain to edit for, like, probably such little feedback. If I edited it down, it'd probably be like an hour or two hour long video. And no one's gonna watch an hour or two hour long video. I mean, people might watch it, a little bit of it, but they wouldn't watch the full thing, even though it's fully edited, so... Wouldn't be too much of a point. Why I didn't really enjoy the Franklin DLC. But anyways, I was looking back at that now. I, I didn't really enjoy it too much, and I only enjoyed, like, the Franklin and the Mar part. What's, what's funny about that is that Everyone calls it, kind of calls it, like, the Franklin DLC, because Franklin, uh, is introduced into GTA Online. But there, it, it was mainly focused around Dr. Dre. If you, if you think about it, there really wasn't that much of Franklin. The three missions with Lamar, the assassinations, and that one mission with the golf course. I mean, I, I get it. Like, you're trying to promote his music, you're trying to promote Dr. Dre. I don't know, it, it was just kind of disappointing to me. For those of you who don't know, Franklin's my favorite character. So it was kind of disappointing. Like, probably the only time we'll get a DLC somewhat revolved around Franklin, my favorite character, isn't even that focused around Franklin. What I would want from a Michael DLC. So, a, a lot of people want, like, a, a Michael DLC this year. In the contract update last year, they kind of semi-hinted at it, because Franklin was talking about Michael working at the movie studio. If they actually release a Michael DLC, I, I, hope, it's, I hope it's not the same as the contract DLC. I want it to be focused around Michael. Don't get me wrong, I, I liked the last DLC, and I like Dr. Dre, and I like his music. He's probably, like, one of my top five music artists. But damn, it was just so, like, disappointing. It what it was, like, barely revolved around Franklin. Why Rockstar can't make a DLC for GTA 5 single player? I also hope that they, um, they bring back, like, the co-op DLC kind of thing. Like, it's single player, 
but multiplayer, kind of like what they did with Franklin and Lamar. A big reason that I would want another, like, kind of co-op DLC like they did last year with the contract with Franklin and Lamar is because we're, we're not getting a single-player DLC. We're just not. Or at least for GTA 5, we, we're never we're not getting a single player DLC because why would we? The main focus in GTA is GTA Online right now. If you made a single player DLC for single player, not not a whole lot of people would play it. A lot of people's main thing is GTA Online. I, I was talking to a friend yesterday about some of my GTA 5 speedruns, and he was like, "How do you speedrun GTA 5?" Then it took him like 5-10 seconds and he was like, Oh right, I forgot there's a story mode. That's one of the big reasons I want like a new co-op DLC. Cause we're never gonna get a single player DLC. Cause some people don't even know the single player exists. The only way we could get some sort of single player DLC is through GTA Online.